There's a psychologist by the name of Dr. Peterson. Dr. Peterson is a clinical psychologist who's taught at Harvard University and University of Toronto. And one of the th ideas that Dr. Peterson talks about is when he has clients coming in because he sees them as well or he tells the students this in terms of psychotherapy, helping them out. What he gets individuals to do is he gets them to clean their room. Now you gotta understand when a person sees a psychologist, they're going in there because they think or so we believe, they have a problem up here in their minds, in their brains, right? They want to talk to someone, they need help. So why the heck would Dr. Peterson get them to clean their rooms? And really, the, the way that you break that down is even talking to a child, right? Hey, clean your room. Why? Because it's nice to have a clean room. That's fine. That might be it for some kids. But if you want to take a step further, my friends, when you have someone who's having problems mentally, mental health isn't doing so great. One of the things that's a little bit challenging about mental health is it's not concrete. You, you don't see it. It's a, it's a construct. It's like emotion. You can't measure love. You can't measure, oh, you're depressed. You know what I mean? You can't actually touch that stuff. So what cleaning up your room allows you to do is saying, listen, you want to start fixing up your life? Great. The thing is, you can't actually, You chances are you're not going to notice your little improvements. So what we're going to do is I would take you to your room and I'd say, okay, if I give you five minutes to clean up this room, Again, five minutes, I'm not saying you have an hour. And if your whole room's a mess, what could you do in that five minutes to just tidy it up a little bit? You don't have enough time to change everything around, but maybe you can pick up those clothes off the ground. You know, maybe you can you can make your bed. Maybe you can do your laundry, whatever you want to do in five minutes. And the benefit of that is, you know, when the individual steps back after five minutes, they look and they can actually see their accomplishment. They can look like they can see it. It's physical, it's in front of them. And guess what happens? The next time they go back, it's great. How was that? The person says it was good. Why? Because they feel like they accomplished something. They feel productive. No matter what the goal was, they had the goal and they check marked it off, which is good. Immediately that puts you in an elevated state. Now you feel better and now you're more likely to go accomplish another goal. So naturally, what do you think Dr. Peterson says? Next week is, okay, this time we'll give you 10 minutes. Okay. Next time we'll give you 15 minutes. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to make your room look spotless. In his words, he said, if you see anything that is broken or in need of repair or something that could be approved, improve it. If you see a book on the ground, pick it up. If you see, you know what I mean? Just little things. And then he would get these individuals to basically clean up the rooms, make everything look nice. And then he said, okay, now let's use the same idea that we use with improving your room to improving you. Watch yourself for two weeks, become your own stranger. Pretend that you don't know who you are and that you're watching someone who you do not know and have no emotional connections with. Why? Because if you know you're watching yourself, you're going to be biased. You're going to overlook your bad things and, and uh, overemphasize your good. So he says, look at yourself as a stranger for two weeks. Write down anything that you don't like that you do. You might be sitting there doing homework, biting your nails, and then immediately go, oh, you know what? I don't want to be biting my nails anymore. Write it down. Biting my nails. Right? You're sitting, I don't know, you're watching TV, you're eating chips, you go, oh, you know, I'm not even hungry. Why am I eating chips? Just because they're by the TV, you write it down. And eventually what these individuals would have is a journal or a, even a notebook full of these things that, that, you know, referring back to the room would be like, you know, if there's a towel on the ground, or if there's a book on the ground, or if your bed has to be made. And then they can slowly and methodically start picking them out one by one and start looking at, okay, how can we fix this? How can we fix that? I don't like personally using the word fix and broken because I don't want anyone here to think, you know, I'm broken or I'm, I'm needing to be fixed. Not at all, my friends. But I think, you know, the idea is more of you know, how can you improve yourself? People can always improve. People can always be modified and they can adapt and they can become a little bit better today than they were yesterday. So how can we improve, right? How can we improve certain habits? How can we make certain habits like eating broccoli more frequent and diminish certain habits such as biting our fingernails? So for myself, I can totally tell you, you know, I've, I remember having a bunch of work to do, right? It was school work, it was YouTube work, all this good stuff. And I remember sitting there and just thinking like, my mind is so clogged up. Like I have so much work to do. I don't even know where to start. And I remember amidst all this work that I have to do, right? Tests and quizzes and this, and I sat there and I thought, you know what? I'm going to clean my room. Because it was, it was cleaning my room that really gave me that sort of mental clarity. And it really is therapeutic, my friends. I would highly recommend it. Whether you want to put on some music, listen to a podcast like the Daniel Teaches Experience, do whatever you got to do, or just in silence, you will find that, you know, if you have the time and if the context is correct, you can get something done. It makes you feel productive. You, have, you will have accomplished a goal and it puts you in a better mood to go and accomplish something else now. 
Me personally, I'm getting to that zone where if I have any sort of work to do, I gotta make sure my area is clean. So if I'm doing work at a desk, you gotta make sure that the desk area is clean and neat and my room is, is looking good. Otherwise, I don't feel too comfortable just sitting there lying there doing my thing. But I do understand that it's subjective. Different people are gonna have different habits. But uh, yeah, my friends, that was uh, one thing that I, I stumbled across that I thought was super, super cool. You can totally look him up on YouTube, Dr. Peterson Psychotherapy, clean up your room. Super, super powerful. And uh, I hope it helps you. Does it help me?